Hey everybody, so before I get into today's video, um, you know, YouTube Analytics doesn't really tell us exactly where people are, um, or at least not me. <laughs> um, I know a majority of my viewers are in the United States, and um, but I don't know where in the United States you are. Um, as many of you know, there's a very devastating... Um, hurricane that has kind of gone by actually I'm not sure if it's still going by or not at this point um, but it has had some very devastating effects especially in areas of uh, North Carolina from what I've seen um, I don't want to say too much but I one of the things that's nice about what I do is I have the ability to support some of my other favorite YouTube creators. So there's a, I'm just going to say a very beloved YouTube creator on, that has a Patreon and I support his Patreon. And, um, he, I can't, I'm not going to say the names because he didn't post it publicly on YouTube, but he did post it on Patreon that, Basically, his, uh, he's kind of lost everything, um, you know, and, uh, I'm just praying for everybody that's involved, I'm praying for your safety, I'm praying for things to get back to normal, and, um, uh, I just want to, uh, let you know that, um, you know, people do care about you and uh you are loved and i really hope that with everything that's going on that you know life gets back to normal as soon as possible so let's get in with today's video hey everybody we're finally back um it's been a little bit um had some personal stuff i was dealing with and um yeah just personal stuff i was dealing with um we're back with this compact en um, there are numbers on the bottom, I don't, and also numbers up here. I had a little bit of a catastrophe, um, while cleaning this. There's, uh, tabs, you can probably see that they're missing, on both sides. The, um, I went to, I went to, uh, clean it. And when I pushed in the tabs, they just shattered the whole face place fell off right now I have it held on with double sided tape uh, when unfortunately the way I was holding it the face plate crashed to the ground which uh, caused this plate here to break so it, right now everything's being kind of held in the, with some uh, double sided tape just for the video um, I need to figure out how to 3d print the um, the pieces but also I think it's on the other side I can't reach it but it's uh cracked the whole way down yeah actually yeah you can see it on the what should be your left side um right underneath where it says compact it's cracked right there so i don't know is it going to be worth saving maybe um let's see what does this feature it features some sort of optical drive that looks pretty obvious and then along the sides obviously nothing and I just noticed while filming that there's something a little odd here that we're going to have to take a closer look at. Um, it's got a nick at the top. Um, yeah. And then also looks like a nick, but it looks a lot like a CGA port because it's only got one, two, three, four, looks like nine pins. And then another nick at the bottom. These both look like they're the same. It says uh, X1001. I don't think that this is a... I don't think this is a gigabit nick. But these two look the same. I didn't even notice that there was a, a third one in there. And then we have a ATI Rage. Um, I want to say it's a 4 meg or an 8 meg. I don't remember off the top of my head. And then there are two serial ports. A parallel port... Uh, keyboard mouse and then four audio jacks and then two USB ports that's pretty much it as far as um, 
as the connectivity on this goes, it is, like I said, um, as near as I can tell, I, I did do some sleuthing while I was cleaning it. As near as I can tell, it's Pentium 3, 600 megahertz, and I think it had 128 megs of RAM. It might have had more, I'm not sure. But I'm going to switch cameras here. Now, on top here, it has a Windows NT license. Now, where did I put them? I have them both right here. I have two packages from eBay. Um, this one, actually, I'm doing that right underneath the mic. I'm sorry. This one has the, oh, this one does, okay, yeah, this is the one that has, <coughs> has the uh, license on it. And this one has Windows NT, but also has the, um, what do they call it, service pack on it. I'm not sure, oh yeah, the service pack from 12 of 98. So, we're going to go with Windows NT, if you can't tell. But, while we're on this camera view, I'm going to try to do this without breaking anything anymore. And... Ooh, what is that doing in there? So... One of the things I want to mention, and like I'm not one to beg for views or um, subscribes, even though I do say it usually every uh, opportunity I get, <laughs> but um, we, we're very close to 3,000 subscribers here, and uh, it'd be cool if we could actually make it there by the end of the year. So here's the two next. This one actually, oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, this one actually has the Wake on Land hooked up but it doesn't but I'm really curious about this card and I'm gonna have to get tools in a moment I'm very that um that looks very very complicated I don't want to break anything there we're gonna leave that be um, I did take this outside when I first uh, probably about two weeks ago and I uh, sprayed it out Oh, here's more of the carnage from stuff breaking. Um, and I did spray it out with uh, with the air compressor. But I'm very curious about this card. And when I... I had this sitting with the top off over on the other side of the room. And I picked this up and lifted the whole tray out of it. And it was hell getting it back together. So I'm not sure I want to do that. So, as um, we mentioned before... Um, when, when I picked these systems up, the guy wanted to keep the hard drives. And I completely understand why. So I complied I complied with his request and I removed the hard drives. So what we're gonna use for now, oh, I would have to route that over here to use that. So for right now, we're just going to use one of these compact. I only have a 4 gig right now. I'd like to get... I'm told that NT is a little bit funky. Um, I do have the adapters. I might have to go get the adapters. Um, or just go without a, go without a floppy drive for now. Because as near as I can tell, the um, I do have the adapters to go from the Molex to the floppy adapter. They're just in another room right now. This one always ends up bent, I don't know why. We're just gonna kinda of stick that there for now. So, oh yeah. As you can tell, I've been playing with my 3D printer. Um, I wanted to clean this up and paint it before doing the, the video. Actually, right now I have a for some reason, a Noah's Ark being printed. We'll uh, see how that goes. I think it's time to rearrange the desk, change camera angles, and what is this CD here? Sim Coaster. Why is that on the floor with no box? I, the box is over there. Why? Why is it over here on the floor? The world may never know. 
So I'm going to go ahead and set things up and we are going to uh, see if this thing will actually boot from a uh, CD. I'll talk to you guys in just a second. Okay, so because I want this to be a genuine reaction, if uh, there's a good chance that when I plug this in, it'll boot up automatically. So I have everything hooked up and I'm just gonna plug it into the power strip. Okay, nothing happened. Okay, cool. Uh, we're, I feel like that's pretty much off to a good start then. Um, let me pull this disc out, get it ready. How's it come out? There it is. All right, so we're gonna hit this power button together. And I have not seen this computer boot, so. Oh, we do have a, okay, keyboard error. So I wonder if I have these plugged in backwards. Okay, I probably had these plugged in backwards. Give me one second. You know, in so many of my videos, I will say, man, I'm using my worst uh, tripod. But then I never grab my better tripod. I think there's something a little messed up there. Alright, because it wasn't really clear which one was keyboard and mouse. And I knocked my webcam over, apparently. Alright, <laughs> All right, so we will... Go into setup. Okay, it does see that. We'll go into setup, hopefully. Well, that's a good sign. The. Alright, so it is 128 megs of RAM. So I was doing the math. Now, one thing I never realized. All right, so let's see system. Okay, it is a 600 megahertz with a 100 megahertz bus. So it really wouldn't do any good to put a better memory in it. We're not going to save anything because um, boot order. We want the CD-ROM first. Okay, good. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't, but I thought that it would. So we're going to save changes and exit. Now, one one of the things I was looking up was um, Windows NT. Because this computer is from like 96, 97. And Windows NT 4.0 is like 95, 96. Oh, this does offer network boot. That's good. Um... Okay, that's a good sign. I think, I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I did, I think I told you that in, when I was picking these up, the guy wanted me to remove the hard drives, so we're using that compact flash adapter. Um, and by the way, I'm not going to rush this video, so like, I would like it to come out tonight or tomorrow, but if I can't, so be it. Um, I'm going to make sure that we have everything in here that we need. Uh, yeah, so we're... This is very... Windows 2000 and uh, XP-esque. I think I'm just going to fast forward through all this. Alright, so this... Yeah, this is very um, 2000 and... Um, so we're going to set up MT now. Uh, setup has recognized... Page down is next page. I think by X. Okay, yeah. Now I see that. So this is an OEM desk, or yeah, this is an OEM desktop. Um, I I want to put some elements in here, but I don't know that I want to. Okay, yeah, this is very different. One of my thoughts were was I don't want to do yet another Windows install, but if there's something different, then let's go ahead and talk about. It. This is very. This is. This really reminds me of like, um, really like Windows 3.1 and stuff. But one of the things I found out through the research for this video is that, um, um, is Windows NT 5.0 was 
Windows 2000. Um, you would think, Eric, how the bleep do you not realize that? I don't know. I just never, I just never put two and two together and got seven. You know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just never occurred to me that that was that was a thing. I don't know at what point it's going to ask me to put in the uh, license. Surely it's going to uh, work first try, right? And I'm not BSing you. This is the first time I've seen... Okay, there we go. What does it mean by VGA mode? Should I... Should I be concerned? I put the disc back in. I don't know if that's a wise choice or not. This is actually, like, I've installed Windows 2000 a handful of times, but this is my first time ever installing Windows uh, NT. Now, I want to tell you guys a quick story while this is going on. Um, I was going to make a community post about it, but then I just didn't. Um, so, I went to Micro Center two weeks ago, and I thought about doing a video at the time, but I didn't. Um... Luke was with me, and we just, I decided, hey, you know what, this will be a father-son trip, no need to get YouTube involved, and um, I went and bought the 3D printer. Today makes 14 days since I got the 3D printer, and, um, and um, so I checked... I checked uh, the website because somebody was asking me about doing a, uh, or getting a 3D printer, so I, I went to tell them which one I have, and I went on the website that when I got the 3D printer, it was $150, which I thought was a steal at the time, and uh, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, and um, so I go on the website, the because uh, what I have is the Ender 3, um, Ender 3 S1. I go on the website, it's $69.99 being discontinued. Not even two weeks after I bought it. So, you can't actually call Micro Center. They, um, they have an email thing, they have a text messaging thing, and they have a thing on the website. Now, I was trying to use the website thingy on my phone, but it just wasn't working. So, I ended up texting them. Or the what you know, the website chat, and the guy's like, "Oh yeah, just come in." You, you know, he says, "If you have a, if you did it with an American Express or a uh, or a um, Micro Center credit card, we can just do it right now and give you the eighty dollars back, which well, actually was eighty four dollars." But and um, I said, "Well, you know, I need to get I, as I, I use my debit card, and I want to get some more filament anyway, because I want to get some different colors." And I said, I can come on in. That's not a problem because, oh, no, I got to go to Micro Center. Woo. You know, yeah. Tech time with Eric is going to have a problem going to uh, Micro Center. <laughs> so I go in there and the guy's like really cool about it. Gives me the money. I got what well, we did all in one transaction. I got the filament for my um, the I got a I'm actually printing a red Noah's Ark for some reason. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so I didn't, I was, like I said, I was going to make a community post, but then I figured, you know, people are going to be like, well, of course, I do that all the time with them, but, like, I don't know, I'm not really one to do that. If, um, how do I put this, like, in my opinion, like, like, if this was six months down the line, I wouldn't have given a crap, you know, but this, like, this wasn't even 14 days, and it's gone $80 off, that's um, uh, yeah, more than half off. Ow, I don't know if you just hurt my ankle, but oh my god, that hurt, that hurt. Um, 
yeah, like there was, it was eighty bucks difference, eighty four dollars. So, like that's not something I normally do. I'm not like because I've always had great customer service at Micro Center. Like I'm not going to be the kind of guy to go like, hey, um, you know, uh, give me my money. Tech time with Eric. Now I'm going to be doing a, another video with this. Um, it's also going to involve a, a Windows 11 computer. I I promise it's going to make sense when it when it when I do it. Oh, it did not automatically switch. Um, two, seven, nine. Why didn't anybody tell me that it didn't automatically kick me over to the next thing? <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me that, uh, we'll go TTE. Administrator account. Can I do this without a, no, we're not going to commit. All right. So I want to do all the accessories, all the communications, all the games. And just for the heck of it, we'll do that. I don't know if that's going to be necessary or not. Wow, it's going to install 21 and a half megabytes. Could you imagine Windows 11 being 21 and a half megabytes? Wow. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I went to, so I went up there and I couldn't, you know, I, I don't know, I, I got what I needed. I was very happy with the service I got there. Um, I promise you this is not a sponsored spot by, uh, by, um, man, I am so tempted. I have a, you know what, let me, uh, let me pause the video for half a second. Because of the layout of this room, I have to, ah, I did it again. I have to move my primary, oh, all right, so, because of the layout of this room, I have to move the uh, tripod to go through this little area here. So, it is what it is. Um, I told it, I do have it plugged into one of the network ports. I don't know. We're going to set everything. I, I hope that's the network adapter that it is. Because <laughs> if I remember right, we did not. Um, that could be the other one that has the, uh, what looks like a CGA port on it. But yeah, so I had, um, you know, traffic. When you're, so I live in South Jersey. I'm not going to say where I live, but Micro Center is about an hour Um, the, the, it's about an hour drive from here. And, um, so, and it involves what's called the Blue Route in Delco, uh, Delaware County, Pennsylvania. And if you're from PA, New Jersey, Philly, you know about the the blue root. <laughs> it is not a great place. So I went there So I went there after work. I left at a Okay, sorry, I'm trying to read what's said. So I actually left work yesterday at 2 o'clock, trying to beat some of the traffic, which did not happen. But, um, so I went there, and, uh, 
I don't know how to say this any other way. Now, most of you know I have no issue driving just about anywhere. But when I came home, I told my mother that I was practically traumatized by traffic. It, it like it was that bad. What in the world is it doing?
Okay, so edit and Eric here. If you made it this far in the video, congratulations. Um, I ended up having so many problems. Like, as my one clip said, six hours of suffering begins. And in the next clip, the machine is fully working. Um, it's not working how I wanted it to, but it is working perfectly. Um, I don't know that I fully explained in the clip, because <laughs> at this point I had been suffering for hours and was ready to go get something to eat, which I did afterwards. But, uh, excuse me. So, I don't know, this compact flash adapter was being used with a different compact flash card in the compact 5100 and works absolutely flawlessly um so i used a different because that one's a verbatim verbatim uh flash card and i have this kingston four gig flash and you'd think if anything's gonna work great it's gonna be a kingston i mean this i don't know I had so many problems. Um, I, I ended up after uh, I, I put in I, I installed Windows NT and I installed the service pack and I was trying to find drivers and I, I did explain this pretty clearly in the next clip but I um, thought what I downloaded was a driver pack for the Windows NT 4.0 what it ended up being was Compaq's um, version 4.0 for the Desk, Desk Pro ENs which was Windows 95 and 98 and uh, excuse me I'm sorry it's after 1030 and I'm an old man but uh, <laughs> but it ended up um, just being I realized, I, you, you know how sometimes you're, you're just tired, you're tired of dealing with something, you just click through? I realized as it was formatting the hard drive that it was Windows 98. So I had to make a Windows 98 CD. And then I continued to have problems where it was just... Uh, and all this was off camera. I mean, like, I wasn't doing all this on camera. And um, I just continued to have problem after problem, and I um, I ended up installing a mechanical hard drive in it, which worked perfect. So I don't know if there's just a problem with this particular compact flash card, which would make sense because this is the card that was used in that cursed um, HP Vectra. So maybe the computer wasn't cursed. Maybe it was that flash card. I don't know, um, but I just wanted to give a quick editor's note as I'm editing this video. I cut out almost 45 minutes of video, and right now the video is still currently before this and the next clip a, a half hour long. So I, again, I'm not trying to just make a short video. I'm just trying to cut, cut out a bunch of nonsense that's not needed. Um, I hope you guys understand that I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do here. But I think with that, I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the video. Okay, so, the astute among you may recognize that this is not Windows NT. Um, this is in fact Windows 98. Well, I ran into some issues. I realized I could not find drivers anywhere for Windows NT. You know, let me just turn that one off because I. All right. Yeah, I couldn't find drivers for Windows NT. So I started looking for a. You may also hear the distinct whine of a hard drive. We're going to. Uh, we're going to talk all about that. <laughs> so. Remember I kept saying that I've ran these with 98 ME 2000 XP and they all ran fast. 
Well, uh, let me do this. I don't know if it just doesn't like this particular card or if it doesn't like the adapter, but this is the same adapter I was using in the other compact, and that thing worked great. But I realize, but <laughs> let's get back to the hard, the fact that you hear a hard drive. Well, actually, no, that's why you hear a hard drive. Um, why we're running Windows 98. So I downloaded a Restore CD, and I typed in NT 4.0. So I saw Compaq Desk Pro um, 4.0 Restore CD. I thought it was um, was an N Desk Pro EN 4.0. I thought it was saying that it was a Windows NT 4.0 disk. No, it was when it was just version 4.0. And I realized as it was uh, uh, nuking my hard drive that it was uh, that it was um, Windows 98. <laughs> so I had to make a Windows 98 CD. But we're in here, and you notice how everything just works so much better. I mean, it's so much faster. I was I wanted to look at. <sighs> That'd help if I knew what the heck I was doing some days. Now, can I go all the way up to... And the sound works. I keep forgetting that these have a little speaker in them. But, um... Yeah, so... Right now, we're working, and... I'm trying... Yeah, you can hear the hard drive cranking. But even with the hard drive, it's much faster than it was with this, which is very strange. Um... I wanted to use this um, hyperdisk. However, where the the cages you know climb down or go down, I would have to get like a gender changer or make one so I can use it with the uh, hard or with the uh, actual hard drive uh, IDE cable. But. This is taking a while, but yeah, it just kept locking up during the, the Windows 98 setup. So I said, you know what, let me just try this hard drive real quick. And it's working. So I might try a different uh, compact flash disk. Um, I still want to try to get Windows NT going on it. But I don't know what I'm actually going to be able to do. I, I found a file that had a whole bunch of the driver downloads, but I don't know... It doesn't list the operating system. What is going on? Because, like, this Windows 98 install took, like, a third of the time on the hard drive than it did on the Compact Flash, which, again, is very odd. So, I don't really know what's going on here. And I don't know if I'm actually on the network right now or not. I want to get into um, hardware properties. But these things were kind of cool for workstation use because they had that speaker in them. And I know you guys are going to... Actually, no, you, I'm looking at the screen. You guys don't... Yeah, we're not going to show... I don't know if I'm going to be keeping the... That might be the one I'm plugged into right now. Um, what does this say? Yeah, because right now all the drivers are installed except for this token ring. Now, my question is, if I... Alright, so I switched which network cable I'm plugged into. I want to see something. Let me go. Oh, I got to get rid of that at some point. Why does Windows 7 feel older than, uh, 
than Windows 98 sometimes. I gotta find, I'm, I'm gonna have to like uninstall two of them just so that I can have that in here, but I'm gonna do um, I, I'm going about this the hard way, I know. Please forgive me. surprisingly loud and you you can hear some of the crunchiness what's one everybody likes to play just a lot of uh, uh, where is jungle windows start there it is remember when we used to do all this yeah we used to do all kinds of stuff but so we, we, we have a functioning system now which is more than I had by the way it's 743 Remember earlier where I was talking about being like one something, I think? <laughs> In case you're wondering how long I've been messing with this. The other thing you can't see is I had the computer tore apart right now just because it was easier. Um, I wish I had a 4x3 monitor I could put on here, but I want to try one more quick thing. I don't think we're actually going to try to... Oh, yeah, I wanted to see... The reason I was going in there, I wanted to see what the actual uh, graphics card was. Oh, I thought we were on 1024 by 768. That's better. But I wanted to see what the graphics card was. Oh, uh, it, it's not telling me. It is a... Um, It's showing 75 hertz. Um, apparently, I I can do a bunch of stuff that I don't necessarily. Um, I want to do auto run on that now. That okay, that's better. I don't know if I'm going to play, but I, I'm just showing that the system is working. Um, we're going to have to go in and mess with stuff. I... Oh no, I only have 3.5 gigs free and it's going to take up 433 megabytes. No! Oh. Do I want to... Remember I was saying I keep trying to, like, I should have been able to, oh, this is an Intel thing. Uh, okay, I thought that was, uh, remember I was saying, like, we should be able to, uh, to be able to multitask, and I was a little surprised I couldn't. I'm kind of curious if it... Um, let's see if it can figure it out. I'm probably going to take two of the network cards out. Do I need to set up an internet mail? No. But let's see if I can get on. There is a uh, browser. I have it on the hard drive of the computer behind us, but... I'm just 
just kind of curious. We're on the internet. We are on the internet with Windows 98. It's probably going to tell me no. Yeah, I can't find the server. But, this is on the network. So, maybe I can do something with Network Neighborhood. Um, maybe not. I gotta find... How, where does it say to find it? Network Troubleshooter. Oh, okay. But... Yeah, the whole... Yeah, it's been like six hours I've been messing with this thing, apparently. Well, I mean, I went into the bedroom, or went into the living room for a while, sat down for a while, and then I ate some lunch, and now it's almost 8 o'clock. I should probably eat some dinner. So, I think we're going to call this a part one. Um, if you have any... Oh, yeah, also, when I had this plugged in, and... I tried to, I, I left the drive cages, you know, up, it, um, uh, yeah, let's look at this training video, it, it kept telling me there was no drives at all, including the CD drive. This just does not work. Ah, oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. One thing I know does not come through. At least there's my... One thing that does not come through, probably, through the microphone, is this actually has a decent amount of bass. That's a dumb way to do it. I mean, I know it's a training video, but why? I don't know, I can't wait to play this now. Um, they realize that's not gonna work, right? Move the 
house up and down. Oh, okay. I see where they're going with this. Your coaster is now up and running. Why not ride it yourself and get the full experience? Click on the camcorder button to the left of the screen, then click the coaster entrance. I'll try it myself. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But I, I had a whole bunch of other plans. However, the um, situations ahead of me uh, kind of changed it. But anyway, we have brought back this uh, Compact S Pro EN. Maybe not to its former glory, but uh, we are getting there. So... I think for right now we're going to call this a part one. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.